Welcome back guys, TGS here, better known as Tech Gun Sports Lover. I really appreciate you guys joining me for another video and for the continued support. Today we're going to take a look at the Inatech Mini Bluetooth Receiver. This is product number BR1001. Now these are really useful, really inexpensive. You can pick this one up either on the Inatech website or on Amazon. Before I go any further, let me try and explain what this does because this may not be the device that you're looking for. Basically, you're going to pair this device with your Bluetooth device. Once you have it paired with this receiver, you're going to take your auxiliary cable and hook it to your non-Bluetooth device. Now everything you stream from your Bluetooth device, say this phone, is going to output to your non Bluetooth device. So hopefully you guys understand that. It's a very useful device and uh, it can come in handy in a lot of different situations. So let me get to the book here. We're gonna talk about the specs of this device. The size is 40 by 40 by 11.5 millimeters. You have a weight of 15 grams. You have Bluetooth 3.0 now this works with Android Symbian XP and Apple you can use this as far as 10 meters away from your device and it does have a built-in lithium polymer battery with a capacity of hundred and twenty milliamps so the charging time is about an hour and the use time is about five hours and that's pretty accurate based on uh, my testing I've been using this for a couple couple of weeks and it is very very useful and very handy especially in a vehicle and I'm going to show you um, how it works in my vehicle here in a second so let's take a look around the device you do have a volume up and down you can also skip music tracks with this as well so it has a dual purpose going to the other side you have a micro USB port and an auxiliary port on the uh, top of the device you do have a microphone I don't know how well you can see that little dot that is a microphone and you can make phone calls uh, via this device in the center here you do have a button that serves as an on off button as well as a uh, pairing button so once you press that uh, you get a light flashing an indication light flashing uh, right up here and then it'll go ahead and pair with your device and I'm going to show you that here in a second now this does come with a micro USB cable and an auxiliary cable as I said it's very simple um, to hook this up you're going to pair this, this device with your Bluetooth enabled device and you're going to take your auxiliary cable, hook it to this device. So let me uh, show you how to pair this with your uh, Bluetooth enabled device. Right now it's uh, completely off. I'm going to go ahead and hit this button in the center. You're going to press and hold it actually. Once you get that blue light blinking, that means that it's attempting to pair with your Bluetooth enabled device. Now what I have here is my LG G3. Go into the Bluetooth settings. And as you can see, it is connected to call and media. That is the Inatech BR1001, which is this device right here. Once it's paired, that light's gonna go off. So now your Bluetooth enabled device, in my case the LG G3, is connected to this device. So once I hook my auxiliary cable to this device and into my non Bluetooth device everything that comes from my LG G3 is going to play through the speakers of my non Bluetooth device now I'm going to go outside to my vehicle and we'll demonstrate how this works so stand by guys okay guys welcome back I'm out here in the garage in my car I want to demonstrate how the Inatech Mini Bluetooth receiver actually works. Now, I'm using it in a vehicle, as I said, but you don't have to use it in a vehicle. You can use it, you know, in your house or wherever. But here's the device. 
again the Inatech mini Bluetooth receiver now the first thing you want to do is pair the receiver to whatever device you're using and in this case I'm using a tablet from Verizon and also have my LG G3 which I'll attempt to demonstrate uh, what it does with those two devices now you're going to take your auxiliary cable and hook it from your Bluetooth receiver to your auxiliary port in your vehicle usually found in the console okay guys so I have my Verizon tablet here I have one of my videos this is the Monarch buoy knife I'm gonna hit play and you'll see that the output from this device is gonna play through my speakers in my vehicle What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. TGS here, also known as Tech Gun Sports Lover. Alright guys, so as you can see, this works perfectly. Just uh, keep in mind guys that it has a, basically a 4 to 5 hour battery life product. Very useful, very inexpensive. Down below I'm going to include a link to where you can pick this up at. If you guys got any questions, um, please let me know guys. I appreciate you uh, checking out the video. Have a good day.